Hey you guys, it's Natalie. I'm doing a YouTube. I know it's grainy. Um, I just want to talk about some things that I've seen today. Obviously, the first one I listened to Casey Stoney's interview, and I loved it. I love every second. I love her. That's that. Love it. And then second one is to my boy Rodney, who put out after. That interview with Casey and we're all tweeting, we're all happy. He put out a really good question. He put out, are Man United doing enough to promote their women's team? And if we go back to what Casey was saying, she's saying that's the most integrated she's felt. It's fantastic. This, that and the other. They don't want to clash because they want to get in the fans. All that is great. And I'm glad, like I've actually, apart from Durham and Arsenal, I've not seen a clash for ages. So... I think Millwall might clash with Chelsea, but that's for Barmy Army. Barmy Army are all going to go Millwall. We're going we're gonna to win the league, potentially. So I, I'm in with Casey. Wherever Casey goes, I'm going. So, But I understand with home, they don't want to clash because Lee, you want that stadium rocking. And I, I for me, as like part of the Barmy Army and part of these fans that we go everywhere with them, we'll always be there with them. But yeah, I'd love... Lee to get 5,000 again or to get us in the terrace, get enough to get us in the terrace, get all four ends open, you know, but I, for me, I love the women, so I don't, I don't know where it's all come from, I just, I've just embraced it and I just, it's like, the, I don't know, maybe it was Jose, but Ollie's come back, I still love Ollie, I don't know, I just love it, so for me, at this moment in time, they come first, so I go where they go. And if you got a problem with me for that, come to the toll gate, come to J stand. Um, I'll be in Paris. I'll be at your ways. I'm always about. You know who I am, Natalie. Hiya. So if you've got a problem with me following the women, right, everywhere they go, I'm loving them. Let's have it out. Let's talk. Let's sit and have a pint and discuss it because. I don't know why I love it so much, I just do, so I'm sorry that upsets you, but that's what it is. But back to it all, Casey says she loves what United are doing, and I think we've not had a team for ages, so I'm happy that they're doing it the right way, and all the players feel integrated, and yeah, that's brilliant. I'm glad that they're looking after staff, looking after players. To be fair, they are looking after us fans a bit. What they did with Charlton and the coach is really good, giving people free travel who were at that game. You know, it's it's good. You know, but that's through Must as well. Let's not get it twisted. Club, uh, you know, we had to go to Must, and Must has done that. So shout out to Must. I'm a member now because they really looked after us as well. Fair enough, the club have done it, but. Respect to most, you know, Ian and that. I just, I just thank you. Um, but this is all taking me back to my boy Rodney's point. Then are oh, United doing enough? You know, getting over to Lee. I get over there because I love it. But so if you want to go to Sunday, it's twelve o'clock. You know, you might have been out the night before. You might whatever. You got kids. You got to do this. You got to get up dead early. And I think twelve o'clock's not helping everyone. When we had the two o'clock. The more kids were able to come, this, that and the other. It was loud, everyone was singing. Yeah, it might not have been the 2000, but that bees match when it was 2 o'clock, that was really good. Um, I think they did at the start, the club. They did a coach and they tried and they put it out, they put it out to Monkey Boss, they put it out to me. I got a few people going. There was a few different reds come down. I met loads of people from it. It was great. And obviously Sheffield was um, midweek and... It was harder, so there wasn't a, a one then, and then there wasn't one Durham. Fair enough. I think now, maybe they'll do it the start of next season, but I think now there's an established fan base there, and there's fans that come in week in, week out. And I think now is the perfect time for Man United. Like, if they're saying that, do they do enough? Now is the perfect time for them to do buses again. Yeah, they tried it. And I respect them for that, but now's the time. You've got your established fan base. Let's start putting buses on. And you've got your established fan base away from home. 
So that's where we need the support as well. That's where I really think they could push more. And like, I look at the Twitter and I look at the Instagram and it started off slow. But they should be putting out more content. You look at Man United men. And this is what I've heard Birmingham fans saying about this. It's not just, you know, United. I'm covering other teams. You know, we're, we're doing better. If you look at the championship, there's teams in the championship that are Premier League teams and they're part-time. So let's not get it twisted. United are doing great, but they should be putting out content. There should be content every day. There should be articles. There should be someone down at the training centre taking pictures. Just not saying all oh, of all the training, but just one or two, three pictures. The girls don't mind. They were putting out videos of, of them in the cliff. And that's, oh, I loved it. When I saw all that stuff, I loved it. There's a video out of Casey. Do these things all the time, you know? The more you promote it, the more people are going to want to come. And then especially you've got that established fan base there. You promote it and then link them to, to going on a bus. Put a link into the next game. This is how you're going to have to do it. Casey made reference to it about promotion and this and the other. The videos when they were like, oh, Spurs are coming up. That was bomb, 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 bomb. Top table clash. I hope it's the same for the away. Because we're doing that Charlton bus. And if that goes off, they need to then take them same people who are going to pay. And when I say established fan base away from home, we're paying 40 odd quid to get down to London every day, every other week. So no one's asking for it to be subsidised, you know. Get it done. Because you can do it. Because there's established people. We've gone from a car to a nine-seater, now to 16-seaters. So you can do it, United. You just got to get behind it. And it all comes from taking a picture at the training and then saying, come to the next game. Taking videos, come to the next game. Doing an article with Casey, come to the next game. Doing an article, a little interview at the side of the pitch after they've finished training, come to the next game. Because that's what I see Chelsea doing. That's what I see City doing. City are doing all these big dramatic videos. It doesn't even have to be dramatic. It just has to be pictures, videos, this, that and the other. And I understand they want to keep it. You know, slow and steady, slow and steady. But now we're going into the big league and that's who we're against. Chelsea, Arsenal, this, that and the other. So, I see in videos from West Ham even, come to the next game, come to the next game. You've got your established fan base there. Some of these teams, not Chelsea and that, but West Ham, they've just started. So they're not established. So fair enough, they're having to put it out more. But you've got your established fan base there. There's... You know, solid 2K that come. There's all of us in the car that come every game. So let's support each other, man. It's a journey, not just Casey, the girls, the staff, the club. The fans need to be there. And that's the thing with the United. Men and women, they, they neglect the fans. And the Red Army are pulling it back, you know, at Old Trafford. Um, and it's time for, the, for them to look at doing it the same way. And obviously, women fans are different. I've come against people and they said, oh, this, that, and the other, and it's a different crowd, and we've had to rein it all in, And but I still love it. <laughs> you know, I might go off sometimes where I shouldn't do it. We might be too loud, but we might have too many flags. We might be too this, too that, jumping up and down. But I love it. There's people that love it, that are United fans that are like, let me get involved. Um, the girls love it. Gaffer loves it, the people, the media people love it, so let's build it to be united, the same, come on.